The knotted blanket stitch, more frequently in printed media called the Antwerp edging stitch, starts out just like the blanket stitch. If you're working it just on a flat surface, you'd basically be working between two lines, whether they're real or imaginary. We're going to come up on where we want our, our solid line to be on that line. We are going to go back down in the other line and come back up. You want to come up perpendicular from where you went down and pull through. Now for the knot, we are going to go up under that horizontal. Then we want to make sure the thread is under the needle. So you're actually kind of going through a really big loop out here if you're not manually manipulating this and pull through. And there's our first little knot. Then we go forward a stitch length, go down on the, the bottom line, up on the top, perpendicular to where we went down over here, pull through. And um, this stitch looks nicest if it's done in heavy thread. This is a size eight pearl cotton. It looks even better in heavier thread. I'm going under my horizontal bar, then I'm kind of twisting my needle over to which direction my stitch is going. I'm bringing my working thread under the needle and pull through, which is what makes our little knot. Then again down in the opposite line, pull through, going under my which would be horizontal if it's sitting on edge, going under that thread. Then I wanna make sure that I'm going to have my working thread under the needle. So I have a big loop out here, it will be. And pull through. So once you get the hang of it, it goes pretty easily. Not when I'm finished, I'm just going to take the thread down on that top line or my left line. Let's paint it this way, it would be the top one. Pull through and then knot off on the back. Now, as its alternate name, the Antwerp edging stitch suggests, it's really meant to be an edging stitch. So if we're working it on the edge of fabric. Um, if you're working on cotton, you would want to have your cotton hemmed. I'm working on wool felt. I would bring my needle out on the outside edge. Then I would move over a stitch length, take my stitch, pull through, and I would go under still that top one. Make sure my working thread is under my needle or basically I'm going through a loop and pull up. So I'm gonna do a couple here on the edge. The reason I switched over to the edge is if you want to use the same stitch as was used in the pattern for the um, needle case, this is what's used. Okay, but she adds beads. So let's say we're just starting out. I just brought my thread up on the outside edge, just pretend those stitches aren't there yet. I'm going to take my first stitch and I'm going to do the knot. So up under that horizontal one, bring my working thread under my needle and pull through. And now I'm going to put a bead on. And when I was working with the beads, I really liked doing my spacing. So it was just holding the beads tight in there. So my blanket stitch was a little bit closer. So there's my bead up on that horizontal stitch. I'm going to go through. And when we're working on the edge, if you will stab straight through, it will look nicer on the back. We're going to come up just like the blanket stitch. So our thread is behind the needle. Pull through. And now we want to make our knot. So it's under that horizontal stitch, bring my working thread under my needle and pull through. And once we have the knot, then we're just going to add another bead. 
Okay, I've switched to a size 24 chenille needle, which is the size I gave you in the first class, and the beads are going over that with absolutely no problem, and they are working on the size 8 pearl cotton. So now I'm going to take my stitch, and remember if we're working on the edge, if you'll go straight through, it'll look nicer on the back. I'm going to come up, the thread is going to be behind the needle, and pull through. And then to make the knot, we're going under that horizontal thread, wrapping our working thread under the needle and pulling through. And then we put another bead on. Straight through, thread under the needle. We went. And then up under our horizontal, working thread under the needle, pull through to get our knot, and then our next bead. I'm going to go as straight as I can through my fabric, make sure my thread is under my needle and I want my needle to the left of the bead. I'm going to pull up and to knot it, and take the needle under that horizontal thread, make sure my working thread is under my needle, and pull through to make a knot, then another bead. Straight through, and make our knot. So that's how you add the beads with the knotted blanket stitch. This is my finished needle book. Um, to stitch it, I started in the V and went around one section, then I went around the other, and then at the end I came back and added the beads on the spine.